Say hello, Sadie. Say hello. Say hello. No, not at me. Look at the camera. Look at the camera. Say hello. Yes. <laughs> Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So, the Black Friday sale, it finally came in. All of the parts that I ordered are in, and I am extremely excited today to tell you guys what I got and to show you guys what I got. Now, if you've been watching the last couple of videos that I've been posted, you would see that I've already talked about the Aza or the Azi case, right? This thing right here, that big old sucker up there but today's cream of the crop is these check it out y'all we're running with the Strix Rogue B350F gaming motherboard Ryzen duh this right here though is what I'm very excited about this is a Corsair MP300 NVMe M.2 it's supposed to be twice as fast as a SATA drive and we're going to put that to the test going along with that is that we have an AIGO cooler this is their CR1 RGB cooler it is really cool I mean it, it, the whole thing lights up very awesome and then going with that we have the Ryzen 5 1600 this was the original chipset that I had in my computer before I burnt it out so I just went ahead and replaced it because I didn't have all the money in the world so I went with that and then we have a secondary style of cooler that I'm going to try out and see what it was. It was only 11 bucks. And then we have an 8 gig stick of 2666 megahertz. So a single 8 gig stick to go with my other 8 gig sticks to give me 16. Or I can put 4 and an 8 and give me 12, whatever I wanted to do. And then for the RGB to go with the RAM, I went with the Easy Fab and these are their heat sinks their RGB heat sinks so I'm really cool to see what these look like I already have one set of those in my computer over there but this is a different style the other ones are multicolor these are single color so they're a solid blue or a solid red or whatever solid colors you want to go for I went ahead and tore the case completely apart and the reason why I did that is because I'm going to start cannibalizing this one to go in here. Basically, I'm just going to steal the fans out of it, and I think that's it. And the fans and the power supply. Uh, I went with these right here. Check this out. This is a digital reader. It's a uh, like a heat temperature gauge. And then with that, I got these plastic um, guards for them. So it kind of looks like the one over there. You see it sitting right there? It's going to be the same thing. It's going to read the temperature readout of the, the system. And I'm going to have two of them in the system. So I'll have two temperature readouts of giving me different readouts on different parts of the board. Now I know you guys are just as excited as I am. So let's open this bad boy up and take a look at it. This is uh, maybe my second piece of awesome hardware that I've ever owned. Yeah, man, that motherboard was sexy. It is a Strix. I went all out with it. Uh, since it was a Black Friday sale, this motherboard usually goes for about 130 bucks. I got it for $89. So, yes, I got the Ryzen, the Rogue Strix motherboard, the MVE dot. Where is it? It's right here. I got this little bad boy, another stick of RAM, and a Ryzen 5. So I have the makings of a, I would say, an intermediate PC, maybe leaning into the Ethereum side a little. Now, I'm really curious to see this right here. Now, you know when you look at stuff, especially on the Internet, you know, it comes up as one way. You know, it comes up as one thing, but then when you physically get it in your hand, you're like, what the the hell is this I'm uh, just seeing what I ordered you know and um, so and of course the pictures that they had supplied was like one picture of it so you kind of had to go off of that one picture but what I did is I googled it and I looked at ooh, very nice nice and clean look at that all right well let's uh 
let's take a look at it real quick guys what do y'all say we ain't got nothing else better to do so we have a little box here and I'm sure it has stuff in it oh okay it has the fan there's the fan for it and then mounting hardware okay what else is in there oh awesome another RGB controller just what I need let's see what it looks like oh man it is nice and packaged in there this is probably the best packaging I've ever seen for a CPU cooler uh, this CPU cooler was about 45 bucks and it had a total total heat TDP dissipation of 165 or something like that so anyway we're gonna pull it out of the box here get off get off all right so that's what it looks like what are these ah, just fan connectors and splitters and stuff but that's basically it you see where it'll RGB right there on the side and then it it has some cool little RGB on the on the left and then the top of it glows and then the fan will glow and it is a uh, I don't know eight heat sink pipe four on each side I believe so yeah I mean it's nice and heavy so I definitely feel like I got good quality out of that one. Oh boy Black Friday did me well. I usually miss out on the Black Friday deals, guys, but this time I got lucky and managed to hit it. So, yes, the Rogue Strick B350F Gaming Motherboard paired with a Ryzen 5 1600 and with that NVMe. Man, I cannot wait. They say that this thing is so fast. It is twice as fast as a regular SATA connector. And it should be. It was sixty something dollars for that little thing, so it better. But yeah, we're gonna put all of this into there, and then we're gonna take some of that over there and mix it with this, and we're gonna have one badass system. I cannot wait, man. So I'm gonna bring you guys along for the ride on all of this stuff. Uh, you know, I'm gonna do the disassemble, the assembling. Uh, maybe a little troubleshooting and then we're going to run a benchmark. I've already benchmarked my current computer and now since I'm stepping up the RAM, the CPU, the motherboard and the storage I should get quite a bit of a performance pickup and a better reading on when I do my test benching or my uh, benchmarking. So we're going to use superposition We'll use ADA64 or IDA64, and then we'll use Crystal Disk Mark to test the read and write speeds of it. I'm excited. Are you excited, Sadie? Yeah, she's excited. Man, I couldn't just help myself. I wanted, I had, I wanted to open it and take a look at this, because this is actually, I'll be honest with you guys, this is my first M.2 drive. And then I took it a step further and went with an MVE or MVME PCI Express M.2. Oh yeah, it looks so cool, man! I can't believe this is where our technology has taken us into something so small, and it can run circles around other stuff. Very excited about that. I went with a name brand, Corsair, of course, but you're going to pay for it. And it's a 120 gig, 120 gig, I believe, by Corsair. So that's going to be fun to install. And we got the RAM. I've already went over that. Basically, this is going to be the main CPU cooler that I'm going to run. But I just kind of want to test this one out. This was 11 bucks, and it's just a regular CPU cooler. You know, nothing exciting about it see it but it claims now it claims that it can handle a Ryzen 5 chip but it did not say which Ryzen 5 chip it can handle so I'm assuming that it can handle the 1600 I'm assuming that because it didn't specify so I'm thinking it can handle the 1600 this is a 6 core 12 thread and we're going to be using all cores because I'm going to download the uh, Ryzen Master software and we can unlock that Zen architecture in here and go from there and hopefully play, uh, you know,
some epic games on you know at least full 1080p settings if not but a lot of that has to do with the graphics card and the monitors that you run you know that's something I hear about all the time people would be telling me oh I bought a GTX 1080 but I'm not getting any frames out like it's 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 cutting on it you know why because people never think about the monitor all right if you have a 5 millisecond 1080p gaming monitor that is not going to hold up to a 1080 you're going to need something with 144 Hertz not 75 you're going to need probably a full full K ultra definition panel and then maybe you'll be able to get what you're looking for out of those settings once you get all that you know once you get your ducks in a row you should be able to get that but I talk to people all the time and they'll have three thousand dollar computers paired with an eighty dollar monitor that they went cheap on and they wonder why they're just you know they blame it on the computer when I'm like it's not the computer it's the display the monitor that you have to think about so if you're going to up your machine then you may want to up your monitor to keep up with the current machine now the two monitors that I have are one millisecond 4k full LED 1080p full HD I mean they even have a uh, free sync built into them for AMD I believe that's right free sync free sync for AMD I think so that's correct but my point is is that the reason why I bought the monitors that I bought was because I knew that I was going to eventually upgrade myself into a 1080 and that I would need the frame rate and the monitor power to push it just a little pro tip guys so that's the deal guys what do y'all think leave a comment give me a like if you're not with me already please hit the subscribe and then the bell notification that way you guys get all of my information and content coming up and oh the giveaway don't forget about the giveaway guys I have like literally two more days left in that giveaway and then I'm gonna do a drawing and announce the winner and we'll go from there so I'm out of here guys thank you for watching and as always y'all be cool